questo da qua però <ride> This is just south of the natural bridge yesterday afternoon. Now the flooding across Badwater Road was concentrated from Natural Bridge to Badwater Basin because of the flooding and Badwater Road is completely closed for cleaning. <laughs> A North Carolina woman escaped with just minor injuries after falling into a sinkhole at Winston-Salem car dealership on Monday. Kia Long Giant says the ground collapsed beneath her in the parking lot as she came out of the dealership. The fire department got her out of that sinkhole.
Altså, lige eller ikke det. Thanks for being cool back. Hello again. Now let's talk weather. You might not want to pack away your winter wear just yet. Or if you've done so, you might want to go and look, look for it again. The South African Weather Service is predicting heavy rainfall and snow in some parts of the country this week. A shocking sight at a South Edmonton car dealership. Four cars swallowed by a sinkhole. Lucky Uppel works at the dealership next door. He says their private video footage shows the ground started to drop around midnight.
Fiona struck eastern Nova Scotia in the middle of the night, its hurricane force winds hitting up to 160 kilometers per hour, leaving a trail of destruction worse than many ever imagined. It's being called one of the strongest storms to ever hit eastern Canada. Far away from the coast, paddocks have turned into inland oceans. Farms disappear under floodwaters. The cost of this latest flood event financially, physically and emotionally is taking its toll. Heavy rains and lightning have killed at least 36 people in northern India as authorities warn of heavy downpours in the coming days. Officials say nearly 40 people have died from lightning in the last five days alone. earlier this month when five students from various schools in our area were rowing on the lake when a lightning strike caused the boat to overturn. One child was found later in the lake. The other was taken to the hospital and was put on life support. We are seeing the impact of one of the fiercest storms to ever make landfall in the United States. Hurricane Ian is now a post-tropical cyclone and is currently drenching the Carolinas, Virginia and West Virginia, leaving massive destruction, flooding and power outages in its path. As of this hour, the overall death toll has soared to at least 77 people. Sadly, that number is expected to rise as rescue and recovery crews make their way through the damage. Most of the deaths are reported in Florida where power outages are complicating rescue and recovery efforts. Ian ripped across the state as a powerful Category 4 hurricane on Wednesday. Early estimates suggest Ian cost up to $47 billion in losses, making it the most expensive storm in Florida's history.